they want to ban cash payment in Germany. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. They want to ban cash in Germany. How is it so and why? Well, there is a talk in the German parliament at the moment that they want to ban cash payments over 5000 euro. Furthermore, there is the talk about banning 500 euro bills inside the European Union and to add something more, they want to ban the 1 and 2 cent coins. The argument for the 500 euro bill to ban and also for ban cash payments over 5000 euro is it's abused by criminals and terrorism or terrorists use it to finance themselves or criminals to clean the money and stuff like that. Ordinary citizens never pay more cash than 5000 euro and also don't carry more than or don't carry 500 euro bills with themselves. What? Terrorism and crime doesn't exist since yesterday. It's, it's existing since a long time and as it seems they never considered it necessary to do these things to fight terrorism and crime. So maybe there are some other reason behind this. The next thing is why do they want to ban the 1 and 2 cent coins? Well, they say, oh, it's so tricky, you have all those little money in your wallet and it's annoying and stuff like that. And why not just pay not 45.99, why not pay 46? Well, then you save those little coins that are disturbing. First of all, for the companies, it's of course more easy because they can rise the prices, even if it's just one or two or five cents. When you're producing 10,000s of products and sell it for example every day, this is a lot of profit you can make by this. Also, the real reason why they want to ban cash in general is not crime and terrorism. It's the financial crisis and the euro crisis. They came up with this idea in 2008-2009 about um, the big financial crisis where they had to bail out banks. In some European countries it was already like this, the banks are closed, that they had not a bank run and uh, the banks are too big to fail as they say. And the ordinary citizens won't get their cash out of the bank. They want their savings, the money they earned for. But the bank said no more, you don't can get it anymore, we take it and take your money away to finance corrupt banks, criminals, abusive banksters, gamble with money and fail. Every normal uh, ordinary company, they would go and say, hey, your economy sucks, you did mistakes, you fail, well you're broke now, but if you are a big bank, then the government jumps in and say, hey, you did mistakes, you did corruption, you did illegal stuff. Well, no problem at all, because in reality politicians and bankers work together, they finance each other and making the laws that support each other, then they say, well, we just take away the taxpayer money to finance you, that you are no fail. And how is it more easy to take away taxpayer money when there is no cash? When all your money is digital, then they can control what you buy, they can track you down for civilians and they can more easily control your money and take it away from you. Because then they say, sorry the banks are closed, you cannot get any more cash to pay. And also the interest rate at the moment is negative. In former times you had some money on the bank you get a positive interest and at the end you get some money. Now at the end of the year the bank takes away money from you, not only by the inflation, no, by the negative interest rate. So there is a big agenda in my opinion behind there to control all the taxpayer money from the ordinary workers that already pay a really really high taxes. In Germany the taxes are super high and middle and low income families and people struggle a lot and the gap between rich and poor get bigger and bigger. There is a big inequality. I already mentioned it in one of my old videos. You see a link there. And anyway, it's 
for the banks that they can take away your money. That's the whole intention in my opinion why they want to ban cash. cash. Not to fight criminals or terrorism. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Till the next time and cheers.